Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with some AP Physics uh, Dynamics questions. So let's get into this one. <clears throat> a empty sled of mass 25 kilograms sliding down a muddy hill with a constant speed of 2.4 meters per second. The slope of the hill is inclined at an angle of 15 degrees. Calculate the time it takes the sled to go 21 meters down the slope. Okay, so a little bit of kinematics in here too. Um, it's a constant speed of 2.4 meters per second, and he's got to go 21 meters. So this is really, since the acceleration is zero, we would look at this kinematic equation. The displacement is equal to velocity times plus one half at squared. But since there's no acceleration, that's zero. So its displacement is just simply velocity over time. So the time it takes would be delta x over v naught, 21 meters divided by its velocity of 2.4 meters per second. The units work out, right? 2.1 divided by 2, let's see, 7, 8, like, what is that, 0. 0.6 something seconds? Or 6 something seconds? Sorry, 8 something seconds. 8.75 seconds. Okay. B, on the dot below that represents, draw and label a free body diagram for the sled as it goes down the slope. All right, so I got gravity. I have the normal force, so it's preventing it from sinking into the ground. And you might think that's the only force. They didn't really say if there's friction or not, but given that it's constant speed, there has to be a balancing force that uh, makes the net acceleration zero. Okay, so then um, this, so there must be a frictional force on the sled. Okay. Uh, calculate the frictional force in the sled as it slides down the rope. Okay, so this is, so let's, we got to do um, um, net force equations now. Whenever you got a free body diagram, it's always net force equation. We're going to call this x direction, we'll call this the positive. The y direction, we'll call this a positive. Now the whole key here is that um, the net x and the net y has to be zero because there's no acceleration. There's no acceleration perpendicular plane, and because they're moving at a constant velocity, there's no acceleration in the x direction either. So um, you kind of have to split off, and I'll do this in red when I split off this vector. This is 15 degrees. This part would be mg sine 15 degrees, and this part here would be mg cosine 15 degrees, right? And so uh, we're going to do the net force. So in the x direction, let's look at the net force. I got a little bit, I have mg sine 15 degrees. That's in that direction. Um, and then force of friction minus the force of friction has to equal zero. So force of friction is equal to mg sine 15 degrees. And I know m, and I know g, and I know sine 15 degrees, um, or at least my calculator does. And so I can calculate this force of friction. But I, I'm not interested in the force. Oh, yeah, I am interested in the force. That's all I'm asking for at this point. So mg um, is 25 times, we'll do 9.8, I guess, times sine 15, 63. 0.4 newtons. Okay, so that's that. Calculate the coefficient of friction between the sled and the muddy surface. Now we know the force of friction is equal to mu times the normal force. We haven't solved the normal force, and that requires us looking on the free body diagram in the y direction. The y direction I have n minus gravity in the y, in the y direction would be mg cosine 15 degrees. That has to equal zero. So the normal force is equal to mg cosine 15 degrees. And then mu would equal the force of friction divided by the normal force, right? Rearranging this. So I know the force of friction, that's 63.4 newtons. And this, mg cosine, be almost the same thing as the previous one, um, but instead of sine, I do cosine. This is 236.7 newtons. And so this ratio be 0.27.
Okay. Looking good. The sled reaches the bottom of the slope and continues on the horizontal ground. Assume the same coefficient of friction. In terms of velocity and acceleration, describe the motion of the sled as it travels on the horizontal ground. Well, now, the only thing it has is friction acting on it, so it's going to slow down, right? So it's going to start off at 2.4 meters per second. And what do you think? It's, it's going to stop at some point. Uh, oh, 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 they want, okay, so it's this, and then TL, so it's going at a constant velocity, then there's TL here, which is when it leaves the slope, and it would be, because it's a constant force, it's mu times the normal force, normal force is constant, mu is constant, so the frictional force is constant, hence the acceleration is constant, it's going to just, a constant acceleration a, makes a straight line for velocity. <laughs> It's going to go kind of like that. Imagine that's a straight line. Imagine I was able to actually draw a straight line. Okay. And this is when it stopped. That's it. Oh, uh, in terms of velocity, describe the motion. Describe the motion. I think we just described it. It would have a constant velocity. As it travels horizontal, it would be ex subject to constant frictional force, which would cause its velocity until it stopped, basically. And then that's that. So I hope that made sense, and I will see you guys in the next uh, video. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content, and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.